We already did a video on how to get five pseudo legendary Pokemon at the beginning of your playthrough. They were two missed out on that video and we're going to cover them in today's. I'm going to show you how to get Gibble and Droopy in the early stages of your playthrough before you get any badges or any ride mechanics. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So to start us off, we're going to look for Gibble. You want to be coming out on the west gate of Mesa Goza. So this is the location that you're going to want to be. The path that we're going to want to take to get to Gibble is pretty straightforward. It is located in a cave system right here on the map in the South Province area. So the issue would be normally getting over this river to get access to this area, but there is a handy little landmass here which we can cross. I'm going to take the camera off. I'm going to show you the route to get there right now so you can follow along. It will be sped up, but hopefully this will make an easy way for you to get Gibble early on in your games. system in the back is where you want to go and here we are here is the cave system west province area one and in this cave system you're going to find gibble and look at that as soon as we walk in it's not a super rare spawn so it will be something you're going to be able to get catch quite easily when you're in this area but you are going to be able to pick one of these up really early on in your playthrough you don't need any mechanics ride mechanics to get here uh, you're going to be able to catch this pokemon and add it to your party quite safely because it is such a low level and use it throughout the rest of your game and there we go we got gibble and that is how you are going to get yourself a gibble at the very early stages of your playthrough in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So the next Pokemon we're gonna go after is the other pseudo legendary Dreepy. This unfortunately is a version exclusive, so only available in Pokemon Violet. If you've got a copy of Scarlet, try and find a friend in Pokemon Violet that you can join that game in co-op and then join them on this hunt for Dreepy. I'm gonna turn the camera off in a minute to show you the route with how to get there, but the basic idea of where we want to be going is down to this marsh area right here, which you can get to without any of the ride mechanics. You're going to want to have to come around to the Pokemon Center, take that little route which will lead you out onto this path here and then you can use the jump function to get down into this area and because you've got fly points as well, even if you haven't got the jump function to get back out of this area, you're going to be able to fly your way back to the fly point at the East Gate or into Mesa Goza if you are at the start of your game. Okay, so we are in the area that we want to be for Dreepy. If you have a look at the map, this is where we're going to be located. You can see Dreepy is popping up on the map there, so it should be in this location, although it will be a rare spawn, so it might not be that easy to find, and saying that, it's right here. If you're having trouble, of course, if you've got the Sandwich facility, you can use that to increase the encounter rate of dragons or ghosts, and that'll make getting this Pokemon a lot easier. Okay, Critical Catcher, we got the Dreepy, and that is how you get Gibble in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and Dreepy in Pokemon Violet. Just remember that Dreepy is an exclusive to Pokemon Violet. A little bit sad, I love Dreepy and Dragapult, but this is how you get it. This is the location on the map. You're gonna wanna be in this area. And even if you haven't got the jump mechanic just yet, what you can do is always use the fly points back to Mesa Goza to get yourself out of an area that you might have thought you got trapped in if you are in your early game but that is how you get both of these pokemon in the early stages of your playthrough i hope you found this guide useful if you have please drop a like on it make sure you subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet guides and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye